to meet yet a guest, another guest on this show. And uh, I tell you the personalities who appear here are personalities who have paid their dues and deserve accolades. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, you know, you have to deserve an accolade to be on this show. And we are honored to have with us uh, a former Ghanaian footballer. He's been into football. And uh, if I tell you, he was the Ghana Premier League top goal scorer. What what you say? Uh -huh. Ghana Premier League, you know, top goal scorer. She said, season in, uh, he scored more goals than any other player. That's 1992, 1993. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Amazing. Yes, top goal scorer. And after that, he also made an international announcement of himself by playing for one of the top teams, I believe it was in Switzerland. We get to know more about this. Some people are thinking that we're going to talk to an old boy. But here's a young man who started his football career when he was so young. So he still looks young and very handsome. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Augustine Ahinfo. Thank you, Nikki. Charlie. Oh, me know which year, you especially. You especially. The two bar, not one head, yeah, man. One head in here, and I just said, well, you My head. OK. Ah, Charlie. What skills, Mr. Still. Yes, we are here to talk football. Yeah. You, you like this team? Uh, I'm a bit aligned to Liverpool. Ah, OK. Mm -hmm. So you are the team? But I, I, I hardly support final. Okay. Teams I used to know. support Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I stopped. <laughs> but when I, I heard that Asiviga is going, uh, I've come back. come back. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole <laughs> situation. Those times, Jesus and the road to Wembley. No? Uh -huh. John Bans, um, um, so um, I think um, the he rushed in, John Aldridge, yeah. Moshe Shego, so we were so much interested in Liverpool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah okay. But yeah. I, I was interested in uh, Arsenal. Believe then, me, you said time be mm -hmm. House of Folk. I, I'm a strong House of Folk, House of Folk. Folk supporter. Yeah. So time be Arsenal, Bear House of Folk, JVC. Yeah. Shit, do you yeah, remember that yeah, shit? I How I'm a trimmer ass now. Yeah. So my baby team, they just in Kwa there. Which coast team did you play for? I I was born in Takradi, obviously. Okay. So I played. So you played for Azakes eventually? No. Did you? No. You my didn't. father coached Azakes, but okay. I didn't. My senior brother played for Azakes. Okay. But I didn't. My first club was soccer missionaries because it what was the coast team. No. The coast team was young wise in Takradi. Okay. And then subsequently young Azakes in Tema. Okay. So I played with the likes of CK Akono, Daniel Ado, Nia Uelbeck. Because I had to travel from Takrari to Tema to come to and play one chindi and then I'll go yeah, back. Yeah, now open one chindi power. It was because at the time it was not the money. It was. It was. You needed the game. Yes, you you, you loved to come. I, to I remember when you have to stand there. Uh, yeah, the four eleven and five, five three. Yeah, the four elevens are the shorter and the five, the five three are yeah. the taller ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember and at the time when I came to Tema Comte two, I was called Tadi. Oh, that's why they so I, I, till now, when I go to them, I, those who know me call me Tadi. Oh. I was the only guy from Takradi. Yeah. yeah. And eventually, you got into uh, uh, Goofields. Yes. That was when I started with the soccer missionaries for two seasons. Mm. And then I moved for, to Goofields for another two seasons. Yeah, you had a penchant for goal scoring. Yes, I did. A striker. Because the whole team was good. Yeah. One good thing that we don't normally know or understand is that we always want to talk about striking, striking. Yeah. But you should have good players around, around you to be able to, to score. To, to give you the yeah. good balls. Yes. So you make the, the move, the ball is there and you score. And don't don't forget that at the time it was very tough because yeah. you're playing against the likes of Upele Abuaji, Ajimendria, Manuel Ampia, and, 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 and hey. yes, it wasn't easy. And those were the defenders you they scored were. against. They were. They were. Very tough. And the, there were some good goalkeepers as well. They were. Edward and Sainz. They, they were all around. Nana Bain, Kento, Antonio Seco, Joe. Wow, Simon, you, yeah. you brought me some goosebumps, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And you're playing against midfielders like uh, Imanol Lamuatin, House of Four. All of them. All of them. I played the likes of Abladi, Shamo was Shamu, in Shamu, House of Four. You yeah. played against Shamo? Yes. He was in House. I was in. And Go Jude Bra. Jude Bra was in Kotoko. Kotoko. Mm. Along the line, uh, I, I went to play some team in, in Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. And uh, Joe Debra and, and Shamo were playing for Africa Sports. Wow. And uh, yeah, yeah, both of them had gone yeah, there. Ebo, Mess took, uh, Ebo Smith yeah. took me there. And then they gave me a French name. The so I, I remember uh, Kaku Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Kaku Ramon, it's like Kweku Ramon. <laughs> Kaku Ramon. <laughs> and I remember a boss me taking me. I was playing for Ganyua Sportive. Yeah. And then against Africa Sports yeah. in Abuja, a boss me was the captain. Wow. So I was invited into the referee's room and 
they mentioned my name, Kakuru, man, I got in, and a boatsmith started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and the referees were confused. How is this man like, What is the problem? So I asked him, the problem. He said, oh, no, no, you have a problem. <laughs> and then we're I went. Well, yeah, he brought me against okay, 9 foot 10 to Kakuru, man. How, how many goals did you score in that season? Uh, in, in Ghana? Yeah, in Ghana. I Ghana. think about 15 goals, I believe. At the, at the time? At the time, yeah. What's happened to Ghana football? Has it improved, deteriorating, or is it getting worse? I think when you talk about talent, we have. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot that has to go into football to make it good. Yeah. I personally think that the remuneration coming to the players are not enough. That's the professional players? Yes. The so-called professional players? Yes. So you can't be playing for a premiership team and making like 200 Ghana, 300 Ghana in a month, currently. Is that it, what the... It's important. Yes, yes. 400, it's not enough. It's not enough. So, players will continue to leave the shores of Ghana. Premier League footballers. Yes. 400 Ghana. Yes. Uh, Even 400 have gone up. Are you, Some get are less. you kidding me? I am not. Like, you, can, you can do your so, checks. But how about the coaches? Are they paid well? Some are paid well. Some are paid well. Like, say, 2,000, 3,000, thereabouts. What you're saying means we don't have professional teams in the country, do we? I mean, it's tough. I mean, how can you be playing the league? without having a main sponsor. Because the sponsor's money will come to augment whatever you have. Who do you blame for that? The lack of sponsorship? I think we have to go out there to look, to source for one. But I have to use the league as the basis to attract them. So how, how are we going to no, use Now, now, let, let's look at it, uh, mm. uh, Augustine. Is it a problem with the FE or just the playing bodies or the management of the teams that are not attractive enough to attract these players? We, we tend to always put everything on the GFA, yeah. but we should try to look the other way because yeah. individual, individuals have clubs yeah. and uh, the federation has to put whatever they have to put. What held it together back then that we don't have now? Because people had interest in it. I was playing for gold Force against Kotoko in Kumasi, for instance. By 11, 12 o'clock, the stadium was packed mm. and it was locked because they would not allow anybody to get in there. Yeah. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, the stadium was full. But now, House of Folk and Kotoko are playing, and the stadium is half, half full, sometimes even less than half full. So ask yourself, what has changed? We tend to say that it's because we are watching foreign leagues and all that. I beg to differ. 